What's going on guys, Billy here, man. Today, DJI announced their Mavic 2 Enterprise ahead of schedule. We got a few teasers from DJI throughout the last couple of weeks from their Enterprise Twitter account that slated this release for October 30th, but today, DJI announced their Mavic 2 Enterprise in the form of a video uploaded to their YouTube channel. I would highly recommend you go and check that out as it's really well put together. It gives you all the information you need about the Mavic 2 Enterprise. I'll leave that link down in the description. But today, in this video, I wanna talk about what makes the Mavic 2 Enterprise different from from the Mavic 2 Zoom and the Mavic 2 Pro. Now, to do some backtracking, we got some leaked photos before the release of the Mavic 2 series of the Enterprise with two different attachments on the top. The camera resembled the Zoom, so everyone thought that it would essentially be the same camera that the Zoom had. But fast forward about a month after the release of the Mavic 2, we are now getting some more leaks that show a Mavic 2 Enterprise with the Pro Hasselblad camera on it, which makes sense. I mean, it gives those the option who want to buy this drone of either a better camera or a camera that can zoom. Now that we're here on the day of its announcement, Announcement. The only option that DJI has features the zoom camera, which makes sense to me. I mean, as I would think, it would be the most beneficial in commercial applications or search and rescue missions. Now, everything about the Mavic 2 Zoom and the Mavic 2 Enterprise are very similar, with the biggest difference between the two being the ability to add attachments, modular attachments on the top of the Enterprise drone. These attachments are the M2E Spotlight, which fires two powerful beams of light, the M2E Beacon, which is used as an anti-collision light for nighttime operation, and the M2E Speaker, which can be used to relay information from a distance. Here are the specs of each of these attachments for those that are interested. I've got to say, these attachments seem incredibly powerful, more powerful than I originally thought, and will prove to be very useful. With those stats alone, we get a really good idea at how well these attachments will be able to operate, and they tried to show it off in the video, these three attachments, but it doesn't really do it justice, as you can't tell how loud the speaker is, you can't see how bright the anti-collision light is, although apparently you can see that from three miles away, that's pretty incredible. The one thing I did find useful from the M2E Spotlight was this clip. I mean, you can really see just how bright, just how much light is gonna come out of those two LEDs. It has an effective distance of up to 30 meters, and I can say right now that this will probably be the most useful attachment, especially during search and rescue missions at nighttime. Okay, so there's the biggest change out of the way, the ability to add attachments on top of the Mavic 2 Enterprise, but now I wanna get into some of the smaller, more subtle differences that are still noteworthy between the Mavic 2 Zoom and the Mavic 2 Enterprise, with the first being the ability to password protect your drone, which in my opinion is really a genius feature. As far as I'm concerned, it's not on any other drone. No other drone has the ability to add a password onto it. Basically, if your drone is lying around, anybody can come pick it up, start flying it as long as they have a smartphone or a tablet and the DJI Go app. They're golden. They can access all your files. They can fly it around. They can take pictures. Hell, they could even steal it if they wanted to. But now with the Mavic 2 Enterprise, you've got a password protected drone so that anybody who tries to fly it has to input that password before it's flown or also before any of the files are accessed, which for commercial purposes is definitely something that is important. The next change is DJI AirSense, which gives you real time positioning alerts on local manned aircraft. This is incredibly helpful and can be used in combination with DJI's new pilot application, which isn't yet available on the App Store or on the Google Play Store, but once it comes out, I'm definitely very excited to see what changes it brings. Now, although the camera is not much different between the Mavic 2 Enterprise and the Mavic 2 Zoom, there is one slight change. No, it is not thermal imaging, as I know a lot of people were hoping for, myself included, but instead, we can now actually zoom in further. So with these two cameras, we still have the ability to zoom in two times optically for lossless zoom. So if you're shooting in 4K and you zoom in two times, it will still be in 4K. But now we can actually zoom in further three times digitally. And it's not gonna be that beautiful 1080p video that you expect. It's gonna be a lower resolution, but it still does get the job done, especially when you're trying to get in closer on an object or if you're using it for search and rescue missions. Now, DJI is calling this their dynamic zoom. And if you look in the video, it seems that it's gonna give you up to six times zoom with the Mavic 2 Enterprise, which is just incredible because I checked out the four time zoom on the Mavic 2 zoom and you could zoom in really far. So I really can't wait to see what people do with the six time zoom on the Mavic 2 Enterprise. Another new feature found in the Mavic 2 Enterprise is heated batteries. And this is something that was originally put in the Inspire 2 and has now trickled down to the Mavic 2 Enterprise. So for those of you who plan to use this in colder temperatures, this is definitely a welcome change. I know that in my case, when I'm flying my Inspire 2, even here in Philadelphia, and the temperature is between like 32 and 40 degrees Fahrenheit, it actually still actively warms the battery to get them to an optimal temperature. So I find that's actually very helpful. Now, if these batteries ever go on sale separately, 
through DJI's website, they're probably going to be able to be used with the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Zoom as they're the same body style, or I'm sorry, the same battery style. They don't have an increased capacity. That's kind of a shame. But again, if you guys want to, you can probably go out and find these and use them on your older Mavic 2 drone. There are two more smaller changes that are still noteworthy in my eyes. The first one being discrete mode. So now with the click of a button, you can turn off all the LEDs around the drone, including the status LEDs on the back, which seems a little bit unsafe to me if you're flying at nighttime. The next change is 24 gigabytes of internal storage. So compared to eight gigabytes on the Mavic Air, the Mavic 2 Zoom and the Mavic 2 Pro, we now get three times the amount of storage. So instead of say shooting 11 minutes of 4K footage, filling up roughly eight gigabytes, you could shoot over 30 minutes of 4K footage, which I really wish the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Zoom had because I always find myself filling up that storage, even trying to run through three batteries. I'm kind of fighting with how much video I can store. But now with 24 gigabytes, people who are doing commercial work or search and rescue missions really don't have to worry about storage. So besides all those changes that I just listed, the Mavic 2 Zoom and the Mavic 2 Enterprise are very identical drones. They have the same specs, like 44 mile per hour top speed. They've got the omnidirectional sensors all the way around. They've got Oxygen 2.0, allowing you to fly up to five miles, which is still insane. And they also have the 31 minutes of flight time. Although depending on what attachment you put on the top, I'm sure that flight time is affected. Now, in my opinion, the Mavic 2 Enterprise is a badass little drone. With those attachments, it really will be helpful, although I was really expecting more from DJI. Like, I was expecting 10 different attachments, and while they do still have a lot of time to come out with different attachments for this drone as people need them, or as they kind of figure out how to implement these different attachments, I really did expect them to have a bunch of attachments at launch available to buy, and this is something that DJI could make a ton of money off of, just continue to pump out new accessories for people to buy. In a space of commercial drones made by DJI, we've got things like the Matrice, which is big, it's bulky, it's used for more intensive commercial applications. The Mavic 2 Enterprise really does stand out, especially with those added attachments on top. It really does give it its own area of work. I mean, there's no other drone that has these modular attachments, at least sold by DJI, and it seems to really cater to nighttime flight. I mean, two of the three attachments are lights. Now, if you're sitting there and you're kicking yourself because you didn't wait for the Mavic 2 Enterprise over the Mavic 2 Zoom, hold your horses because with the new drone also comes a price increase. So the Mavic 2 Enterprise goes for $19.99. You get all the same stuff. You get one battery, the drone itself. You get extra joysticks. You get extra propellers, basically everything that comes with the drone. But you also get all three attachments. Now, I was surprised at this. I was shocked. I thought they were going to sell the Enterprise separately, and then you needed to buy the attachments separately. But... It's kind of incredible they all come together. Now, the reason that I might seem so excited is because DJI is one of those companies that likes to nickel and dime you here and there, kind of like Apple does. I mean, they're one of the industry leaders and they know that what they put out is going to sell and they can almost charge anything they want, even if it's a little bit overpriced. So for all this stuff to come in one package, it really does kind of surprise me. Now, also with the Mav2 Enterprise, you are going to get this case pictured in this picture right here. It looks pretty awesome, it looks pretty robust, and definitely fits the whole commercial experience of the Mavic 2 Enterprise. Uh, but guys, anyway, that basically wraps up this video. That's everything you need to know about the Mavic 2 Enterprise. I don't believe that this will be available for sale from DJI themselves. You're gonna have to go to a DJI authorized retailer. Again, it goes for two grand. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. I'm going to try to get my hands on one because it looks so awesome. And I'd love to put together some tutorials to kind of show potential buyers what it's all about and how all the accessories work. And I myself am interested to just try it out. Anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.